Hey guys, and welcome to episode 10 of my pack progression. I'm FIFA Vic, and this is how the team looked. We had the Brazilians on the right and Syria on the left. Um, we still need a left and a right back, uh, still really struggling for that. This is a double pack episode. I'm going to open two gold premium packs. Um, and here's the first one. Uh, ben Foster was the name that popped up there. Um, West Brom goalie. Out of the formation we really want, so not perfect, but we'll see if he can do us a job. Uh, we've got Craig Gordon as well, so he's Premier League. But Ben Foster's English, so that might be more helpful. Uh, the Spanish and League uh, BBVA guys, they're not going to be of use to us, I don't think. They're all out of position. The left winger is um, Liga do Brazil, so that he has a chance of being of use. And um, the manager 442 is perfect for us right now. We can stick that on a manager and give a real chemistry lift. Um, I should probably take this chance to say thanks for checking out my new um, video, um, the one before this one, which is the um, squad builder, uh, the FIFA 12 top squad where I've done the top squad possible, in my opinion, for the Hellas League. Um, I had a few comments. Um, one saying cheer up. I'll try and do that. I'll try and do a more exciting video. Um, um, and another one saying, can you make sure the teams are all reasonably affordable? Um, I'm not sure exactly what all your guys' individual budgets are. It's going to be quite tricky, that. Um, but I'm starting off by doing all the outside leagues. Um, not, I won't do the main leagues at first, so the prices should be good. The, the squad price, overall squad prices should be fine, and you can always swap in forms for normals and all that sort of thing. So, um, don't worry too much about price. It's and partly it's a fantasy thing as well. It's like if you could build the best team in that league, this is what it'd look like, sort of thing. So, um, and it's a chance to find out about some players that you might not have thought about. So, um, hopefully you do like that. Um, I'm aware that obviously it's not um, super quality because obviously it's using foothead and what have you. Um, if that is a problem, do let me know. I got a lot of likes but not a lot of comments on the uh, on that video. So hopefully it was okay. Um, this pack again, nothing super useful for us again. Um, getting a bit unlucky with these packs now after getting so lucky at the start. Um, I'll do and I'll possibly do if I can another double pack episode next episode, um, just to try and progress this series. All we need is a couple more players, and we've got a nailed on squad. We might even be able to get into tournaments with this squad if we can just bump it up a little bit. Uh, that is, they're the thing. They're the, these are the things that I've had to trade off. That there's the things that were of no use. Uh, we didn't need Ben Foster because we had Craig Gordon as a Premier League goalie. And Craig Gordon was in a better formation for us. So this is how the squad looked. We're back to BPL on the left. Bellamy um, and Osman in the middle. Uh, Welbeck up front. And then Pato up front with Tinga uh, and Ayrton on the right. Sort of Syria back three. And then uh, BPL on the left and Brazil on the right. So we will whip ourselves into a game. We've got 75 chemistry now, which is not too shoddy. Um, it's okay, it's okay, that is okay, compared to what we've been operating with. Uh, we get drawn against this Chelsea team. Very strong team. I mean, obviously, I know they've just lost the manager in real life, um, but they've still got a really strong squad. I think he's just got to... Uh, the, you know, the new manager's just got to get the best out of that squad. I just don't think he had his, the players on side. Uh, AVB. Let me know what your thoughts are. Should he have got sacked or not? Let's get that in the comments. Sacked, yes. Sacked, no. Let me know. Uh, this Chelsea guy had uh, the best chances at the start. Um, some really good chances at the very start. I couldn't really cope with Sturridge and Lukaku's pace at first. Uh, but a nice little one-two. I don't mind those one-twos that are more realistic to the ones that you just do on the halfway line to get past the back four. I prefer those little one-twos, little intricate. Um, obviously I scored it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we got a 1-0 lead at half-time. Uh, despite this guy having a very good squad and he was good as well. I think, in my opinion, he got a bit lucky there simply because the pass was not actually to Lukaku. The pass was behind him and it 
it didn't connect to him at all, but uh, he managed to react first, Lukaku. You can see here, the pass is not actually to him, and there's a bit of a gap, and then the first time hit, fair play. Lukaku's quality in this, absolute quality. Maybe Chelsea should look at using him. I reckon they should use a 4-4-2. I reckon they should have just Tor Del Torres. He's the new Michael Owen, and he's just going to sit on the goalkeeper's face. And um, they should push, and then they should put Drogba alongside him, 4-4-2. Juan Mata's great, good at left mid. He's not ne necessarily a left wing. He can do a great job at left mid. Um, we continue to create loads of chances in this game. Um, but unfortunately, none of the chances quite come off. Um, I think we even throw our goalie up for the last little bit here. Corner in the last second. I just brought his goalie up. The full works, but uh, no dice. Couldn't get uh, couldn't get back into it, unfortunately, despite quite a few chances. Uh, I'll show you the stats at the end of the game. It was a really good game, really competitive game. Um, he he was a good player. I was doing okay. We were both playing reasonably well. Um, he went for the... He went for the 1-2 uh, lob through ball every single time he got the ball to his strikers. But but that's if that's how he wants to do it. That's fine. So another double pack episode uh, next time. Please let me know what leagues you need me to do for the squad builder. I've been Vic. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.